Hi guys, welcome to Phone Arena and in this video we're going to be talking about a new gaming accessory uh, for all you Flight Simulator fans. I mean, we are big fans of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 at Phone Arena. I mean, I've been, thanks to the lockdown and everything, <laughs> the only saving grace was Flight Simulator being stuck at home. So, being able to travel virtually. Yeah, virtually travel anywhere. And uh, it's been, I've been using an Xbox controller and uh, the old joystick I had. There's a new joystick, I mean, new flight uh controller in town which is the Thrustmaster Officer Pack Airbus edition mm -hmm. so it's an Airbus uh, officially licensed accessory from Thrustmaster Thrustmaster you guys might be knowing is a gaming accessory company they've been making they've been, uh, yeah, joysticks for many for very years long, right yeah, now. I mean, very affordable yeah but this one is not so affordable uh, relatively affordable yeah it's like 15,000 on Amazon right now uh, but I think uh, it was cheaper a few days ago at around 11 odd thousand mm -hmm. uh, if you want to buy one we'll uh, kind of uh, small piece of advice maybe wait for a price drop again we'll definitely is, yeah so it's a great accessory to have in case you are a fan of Airbus aircraft so this is an Airbus edition so kind of mimics a one is to one scale of, of the Airbus, Airbus so controller yeah. yeah the flight controller uh, like an Airbus A320 or I mean that's the one in the game so we'll probably show you a demo of it from within again the game itself so this is the retail box it comes ships in in India it's an Indian unit so this is the box and you see an Airbus uh, A320's cockpit, right. flight, uh, flight deck and so there are other accessories which Thrustmaster makes as well, there's a mention on that mm -hmm. and some of the uh, parts of uh, the controller, I mean the joystick at least. So are, this comes in two parts. Yes. Uh, there's one, there's a joystick, joystick and, and a throttle. Th throttle. So the okay. joystick, I mean the top, some of it can be customized, mm -hmm. there are some parts inside I guess. So, and I think you can also pair by one of these one more additional pair of throttles and pair them up to make it for like a four, a engine, four engine plane. Like that's for the bigger planes, basically. Yeah, which is sadly going away. The A380. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it is, and it looks uh, pretty interesting from the outside. Right. And what's more, in most interesting for me, it says inspired by the iconic Airbus side stick, one is to one scale. Right. So size wise, it is as good as. As authentic as possible. Yeah, so let's open it up. So you have some paperwork for the throttle stick. Quick manual, basically. Yeah, and the side stick as well. Multiple languages. Yeah, so this is the paperwork. Let's get that out. Okay, so let's get this box out of the way. Wow, these are big. Wow, it looks small. I mean, the box the looks, box looks quite, quite small, compact. Yeah, compact from the outside. They managed to cram in both the uh, flight stick and the throttle stick. So I believe this is the joystick, and these are the thrust throttle. Yeah, so you have controller. So you have like a screws and some mounting. That's for mounting to the yeah. table, I guess. If you want to make it like a really table. Some uh, extra heads here, if I think it's for yeah, the joystick. The joystick, yeah. Yeah. And you have a Type C cable. I think the Type C is for the throttle stick and the uh, uh, throttle quadrant, or mm -hmm. not even a quadrant. It's probably a pair of throttles. So you have a additional one for the joystick. Wow, looks amazing and. Although it's plasticky, the build is not metal. I would but have like liked it's metal. It's really high quality but plastic. But like it's like very these high last. quality. Yeah, these are last. Engineering, like. yeah. Even when, even though it's plastic, let's get a TCA quadrant Airbus edition, five volt, two fifty amperes, two fifty milliamperes. So it says engine one and two, engine three and four. Right. You so can you set can the basically mode. if you buy another pair, right. you can. So. So this is basically the flight throttle we'll show you when we do the demo, but basically you kind of uh, pull it all the way up for maximum throttle. Maximum throttle uh, and uh, power. there is also support for reverse. Yeah, so you just bring it back all the way down. So this is ideal. This is Toka, I believe. This is, uh, I mean, uh, full throttle. This is, I think, the ideal. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is if you're landing, pull this up like on a real plane. This is what they do. And put on reverse. Uh, use the reverse thrust. Right. So your engines are going to be assisting you to brake, I mean, mm -hmm. to bring the plane to a halt. So that's beautiful. I mean, looking forward to trying it out. That's one of the most hardest things to do with the joystick, with the Xbox right. controller, yeah, using the reverse 
thrust so this is amazing so you can also move them individually individually if you want to use only one engine and there is also extra controls for engine start stop yeah engine 1 and 2 start stop cranking the engines right okay ignition start so i mean it's amazing i mean pretty accurate for a say, amateur yeah. gamer this looks super professional <laughs> and yes. uh, what else so this one uses usb type c so you mm -hmm. need two ports on your machine two ports on your machine so yeah, take a usb c this. port this, this one has a inbuilt cable so i'm guessing like this is like the main prop that you need this is extra so they have a it has a secondary secondary usb and i think they have also given you some uh, controls to i think for the resistance i think you can oh okay that's cool to something. make it more yeah, i think there is some controls here i think mm. you might have to read the manual there's a lot of things you can do as and obviously a flight is very complicated to fly so if uh, they are simulating it do you know what this joystick does yeah i think it's more it's, like, it's called the hat view basically for toggling the view within the game i believe oh okay so it's not part of the pov or yeah it's uh, not part of an actual control so probably this is also probably not that <laughs> this for firing missiles i guess <laughs> yeah i think i mean yeah but yeah so this Apple is it's just make military car yeah thing. but they do make but not they don't uh, they do make some uh, military, military aircraft. aircraft yeah airbus a400 at least oh, lift, i didn't know that uh, lift supplies okay i mean like okay military attack aircraft that is like yeah. lockheed and yeah so they do support a craft okay and some choppers as well but mm. not really like lockheed martins or f16s yeah so this cool. is probably for that but you could actually change it for i think this is probably the brakes ah uh, uh, usually you would use tow brakes uh, which is a rudders and tows uh -huh. which come on the bottom of the plane uh -huh. but considering uh, this is usually in the game this is the foot uh, kind of button which is there by default uh, in a joystick right so that's that and yeah uh, looking forward to actually using the throttle and seeing how the response is what's the delay between actually pressing it here and seeing it in the game and wow so this which is i think this thing will would last it doesn't feel really cheap although it's no. plastic doesn't feel as cheap i expected it to be and this joystick also feels there's so much of movement in that uh, the resistance also is nice like uh, feel feels nice doesn't wobble and i think they've given you thrust reversers and the joystick as well you can put in case you don't have this yeah so this so buying this is optional in fact the throttle mm. is optional you can either just buy the joystick which is much cheaper about 5299 when i saw it so these are buttons which you can program within the game right okay so there are multiple buttons so you have 1 2 3, 3 4 5 6, 6 12 6, buttons 6. here and three sets of buttons in the front one more here just yeah. four one more on top oh nice so we we'll look at that inside the game so let's jump into the game uh, show you the actual game play enough of us talking we can actually see how this actually uh, fares functions yeah. functions and how does it fare within a game so let's uh, dive in So yeah, we are inside the game now, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and uh, you can see it's detected the controllers. Uh, you have the joystick uh, uh, flight controller, and also you can see the throttle quadrant as well. So TCA, Q engine one and two. So it's a two engine quadrant, and all the controls are already mapped. It's detected it's, since it's a official accessory, partly because it's been certified. Uh, I think uh, as an official Microsoft Flight Simulator accessory, I think most of the controls are, and generally also, I mean, Thrustmaster, so most of their flight products are uh, I mean, work, certified by Microsoft uh, and others. It works others without any uh, issue. So we are going to be doing a attempting a landing with it and see how it goes. So let's uh, try a landing. It's a very difficult landing. It's at the Bhutan Paro Airport. I've tried this. Uh, on my PC before, so using a Asus a Strix a gaming laptop, it's an RTX 3070. It's a beast of a machine uh, to drive this demo. So let's go in and launch the challenge within Microsoft Flight Simulator for a landing, and we'll use the controllers for the landing. So we are in Dubai with an Airbus A320. We're going to be showing you how the controls work. So we are up aligned to the runway already. So let me quickly show you around the plane. I mean, how the throttle quadrants work. So if you see. Uh, it's at zero now, so it was already at full. So since once I touched the controls in the game, it uh, came back uh, to the idle position. So if you see, it's brilliant. Even even if I am not moving both together, the response is brilliant. 
so i'm going to be setting it all to uh, so also let me show you the joystick response as well you can see it's so realistic okay. the moment i move it yeah real time on the screen so let's actually uh, push the throttle up uh, and before that parking brake parking brake is on so okay okay it's putting the disengage so it's at full throttle so you're going to be taking off now this brilliant how there it goes the feedback coming in from the throttle I mean the joystick is amazing and let's probably bring back the throttle a little to flight mode circling around not going to actually fly much so let's probably just circle around and showing you the controls so yeah it's amazing how the feedback is yeah. it's a beautiful game so the flaps uh, 12 buttons yeah so many buttons reverse thrust on the uh, buttons so you can they're all mapped so i'm at over speed so let me bring back the throttle a little over speed over speed over speed over speed over speed so it's giving me over speed warning so it's brought back the throttle a little so yeah, warning is gone now so realistic Nobody does this in a real world, but yeah. <laughs> of course. So we are flying over the wire about 4,000 feet. So I'm flinging in the flaps a little bit. Now the hand landing gear is up. Airbus 320, please acknowledge. So landing gear is again back. So, yeah, so they are mapped to different, mapped buttons, to to different buttons. Yes, sir. So I'm going to bring in the flaps again, again we'll bring back the flaps up. Right. So all that is possible. So beautiful feedback. I mean, there's pretty much no latency at all. It's like so real time. And let's go into the cockpit again. So you see that there's not much lag between... So ideally, we could actually even do a landing, but we're just going to be flying around today. So let me pull up the throttle again. Just hear the sound of the engine again, cranking up. Looks like it's raining in Dubai. So At the moment. Yeah. Real time weather coming in from flight simulator. Oh, is that the actual runway? I could actually try a landing. <laughs> but not now. But we have to come around. So this is amazing how realistic it is. Especially if you have a large screen, you are flying over the runway. So, let's actually attempt one. If we can. Let's bring back the throttle. Increase the flaps. 
putting down the landing gear. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. The landing gear is coming up. Over speed. 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 Over speed warning is kicking in again. Over speed. Over speed. Probably go away. So you see a runway strip there. So maybe let's align ourselves in that direction. Let's make a descent. And we're doing a fully manual approach now, so not any kind of instrumented approach. Just visual approach. <laughs> so let's try. Two thousand five hundred. Need to lose altitude as well. We are too high for landing. So let's go. In and you know, come around. So it's amazing how responsive this thing is. Wow. All right, let's make that turn. Back on the throttle more. Over speed. Over more speed. Flaps. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. We're still going to be probably very fast for a landing. So reverse stretches are kicking in. Right, let's try it from the side. 